Hey guys, uh, this is Benji again and welcome to our new video just sa ating reaction. I reaction natin yung uh, kay Bongbong Marcos about his Switzerland um, business trip and ano yung outcomes ng kanyang trip. Mas papunta doon sa yung pumunta siya sa Switzerland. So maraming mga nagsasabi na na nag-travel lang siya doon para magpahinga. Ayan, magpahinga, mag-travel-travel lang, walang gagawin, basta magpasarap. So, marami rin siya sabi yung ganyang, um, ganyang mga haters kay, kay Bongbong Marcos and isa na doon yung kay, kay Tito Winnie Monsod, yung one time na in-interview siya sa Channel 2. Um, sa ANC yata yun. And sinabi niya, Pumunta lang siya doon mag-travel at nagigihirap doon ang Pilipinas dahil maraming nagigihirap sa Pilipinas at papakasarap daw ang ating presidente. So, ito, pakita natin ano yung mga activities na ginawa niya. ba diba? Kasi kakawi lang niya uh, mga 5 hours ago, 4 uh, hours ago, kakawi lang niya sa, sa, sa Pilipinas. So, yung pinunta niyang World uh, Economic Forum o WEF sa Davos, Switzerland, is a, is a success. Yun niya, sabi niya. So, pu pumunta ako sa mga, pumunta ako sa uh, official page ng Bongbong Marcos uh, official page sa Facebook. So, pakita natin yung mga activities ng kanyang ginawa. So, kakawi lang niya. One thing na nagustuhan ko dyan sa speech niya doon sa sa mga sa speech niya talaga doon sa, sa pag-uwi niya, nagbigay siya ng mga investments. Yan. Mga investments, pina pinausap niya yung mga negosyante doon sa ibang bansa. Malaking, eh, malaking, ano yun ah, malaking contribution yun. Yung mga, ano, kagaya nito, um, binigay niya sa high level dahil investing na infrastructure resilience ng ating plans pagtatayo ng infrastructure sa climate resilience pang gitan po ba build better more di ba yung last admin uh, admin build 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 siya build better more so yun yung isa sa mga pinapamungkay niya o yung kanyang proposal sa mga negosyante sa Switzerland at guys remember yung mga World Economic Forum yan, hindi lang ano, taga-Switzerland ang pumupunta dyan. Ang pumupunta dyan ay mga well-known businessmen, entrepreneurs ng buong mundo, mga investors yan. Yung mga pinatawag na, um, tunatawag na parang mga Mark Zuckerberg, yung mga ganyan. Talaga yung mga founders sa mga kumpanya kasi gusto nila malaman sa iba-iba masa para ano yung climate, yung political climate dyan, yung business climate, uh, ano yung plano ng isang bansa, ano yung plano nila uh, para mapaunod to. So, kasi mga business, syempre, hindi yan pupunta sa ating mga bansa kung hindi nila alam yung platform ng isang presidente o ng leader ng isang bansa. Gusto nila malaman kung maayos na yung Pilipinas, COVID free na ba, uh, yung workstation niya, yung, yung economic, economic condition ng country, uh, safety, mga ganun bang bagay. Dapat maalaman niya. Kaya maraming tinanong kay Marcos eh, dun sa isang forum eh, about yung sibuyas, about sa about yung sa employment, un unemployment rate. Ang daming tinalakay talaga na ano. And one thing yung nagustuhan ko dito yung he meet with the uh, DP World DP World na mga tao dito. This is uh, well known na mga tao, asa yung, yung former World Bank uh, President ba yun, na usap-usap sila regarding about economy. So, hindi, hindi, na, hindi pinapakita dito na nagpapakasarap dito si Marcos na nag, ano siya, nag-excursion sa travel na sinabi ni Winnie Monsoon na gusto lang niya mag-travel, gusto niya mag-travel, gusto niya mag-travel. Hindi ganun eh. Eh, yung masakit na, na, na rin mo, ikaw well-known kang tao, tapos well-known kang economist, tapos ikaw ang magbabash sa sarili mong leader sa Pilipinas. Why not support for it, di ba? Yun 
support it. Kasi, and one thing, uh, namit niya si, Ma- si Cristalina Georgieva, yung managing director ng International Mon- IMF. International Monetary Fund. Ito yung nag-uusapan nila yung digitalisi- uh, digitalization ng gobyerno. So, meron ng vision ng ating presidente. At tingnan mo naman, imagine mo, no, ah, uh, this is another Marcos na na ginagaya niya yung parang sa tatay niya na pupunta sila o si Imelda pupunta sa iba'y bumansa para magkikahit ng mga negosyante investor sa Pilipinas kasi uh, yun yung ano eh ito, at saka maganda dito yung speech niya hindi niya pina hindi niya hindi siya nagmalaki kasi sa ibang presidente na na alala ko nagmamalaki na oh nakauwi ako ng ganitong milyon na dolyar sa ating bansa iyon ang pina iyon ang aming success si Marcos hindi niya pinakita hindi niya sinabi yung halaga pinakita na uh, ang sinabi niya niya nagikait ako ng mga negosyante uh, para sa ating bansa ito yung ating ano um, pinapropose sa ating bansa ito yung improvements ito yung gagawin natin yung parang meron na siyang roadmap yun yung gusto ko sa speech niya honestly yun ito pa nagpunta pa siya sa mga sa Glencore yan sa Switzerland yan mga ka- kam- company sa mga sa Switzerland so uh, alalahanin guys ang Switzerland is a fir- uh, uh, first world first world country yan so mayaman na bansa kaya kaya pumunta si ano doon kasi gusto rin niyang malaman paano paano umuunlad ng Switzerland di ba at magkikahit ng mga investors yan ito yung mga ginagawa ng ating presidente guys ah hindi siya yung ah nagpapakasarap talagang wagwa siya ng ano ng paraan para makausap yung mga well known people like Tony Blair di ba Uh, sa World Economic Forum. Kinausap niya yan sa Tony Blair, dating Prime Minister ng UK. Di ba? About, uh, nagusto niya about sa, uh, about uh, COVID response, uh, economy. So, yun yung magaganda dyan eh, na ginagawa nila. And ang gusto ko dito yung nagusto siya ng ni Borch Brandy. Yan. Uh, parang ano lang to is a 34 minutes na pag-uusap ang ganda ng pinag-usapan nila dito honestly kung nag, uh, yung mga sagot ni, ni President Marcos is one of a um, one of the smartest kasi tinatang talaga siya yung mga punto po punto ng regarding sa uh, Paano mag-handle ng presidency? Ano ba yung father mo? ba? Diba? Uh, yung conflict sa, sa China. ba? Diba? Uh, yung sa US at sa China at sa Philippines. Safe yung mga sagot niya. Yun yung gusto ko sa... Talagang ano yung pagiging diplomat niya as a leader ng, ng isang bansa. Yun yung... Maganda doon na pinakita niya dito. Kaya one thing na nagustuhan ko sa kanya niyan, um, kung imagine mo guys, kung ibang presidente ito, hindi niya masasagot itong mga ganitong, uh, uh, ganitong uh, mga questions. Kasi mga questions regarding ano yung problema ng Pilipinas, ano yung, ano yung COVID situation, na-handle ba yung COVID situation, yung sibuyas, yung inflation, ang daming binato sa kanya. Guys, so, talagang sabi niya, we're handling it now, when we're working on that, and working progress, sabi niya. Yun yung maganda dito. Kaya, wala akong ano eh, ah, uh, ang ganda ng ginawa niya dito sa atin na parang uh, please invest in the Philippines pa, makikita niyo yung quality ng isang Pilipinas na nga ma-activate na nga yung batang nuclear power plant lalo nung maingayit yung mga negosyante dito honestly sana magawa niya na maayos yung batang nuclear power plant ayan 
ito pa sa mga power executive ng WEF yan di ba World Economic Forum forum na ipag-usap siya so for two years hindi natin nagawa yan yung nagka-COVID talagang sarado Pilipinas ngayon nag-open up ngayon uh, busy ngayon yung ating president talagang uh, i- magkikahit ng negosyante, investors, um, or funds na pwedeng i-uplip yung ating country. Yan. So, yun talaga ang ginagawa ng isang presidente. So, meron pa siyang nutrition security, di ba? So, pinag-usapan yun. Hindi lang yung, ano, yung isang, isang dao lang ng, ano eh, halos lahat ng, ng kailangan natin sa basa ay kinakausap niya, tinatalaki dito sa 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 Switzerland. Yan. ba? Diba? Yan. And one thing pa, yung napansin pa niya yung dito sa ending speech niya, guys, na ano, na yung yung fan, yung Uh, kinakausap niya yung mga leaders about yung fund na yung investment fund ng government yun dito uh, na 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 ano eh na nakipag-usap siya about the uh, uh, yung magkaroon ng investment fund ang government natin is leading economic recovery performance not only in the Asia Pacific but also in the world You know, pin- pin- sinasabi na niya na ang Pilipinas ay on recovery na, di ba? Pinapakita na niya na o- okay dito mag-invest. That the Philippines is not only driving economic growth, we are also helping mend the fissures that have fragmented the world of late and doing our part to avert economic crises. We shared our insight and experience in being a resilient, hardworking people Uniting in adversity and looking out for each other in crisis. And for this, I thank you. With the help of the economic team comprised of Finance Secretary Ben Jokno, Trade and Industry Secretary Fred Pascual, the, sorry, NEDA Secretary R.C. Balisaka, joined by Speaker Martin, we took part in a CEO dialogue in the Philippines under the auspices of the World Economic Forum. You will notice, of course, that uh, Secretary Ben Jokno and Secretary Arce Balisakan are not with us as they, are, they had remained to follow up, uh, for follow-up meetings that were not scheduled but were, uh, had become uh, scheduled after we had met with the uh, uh, different economic leaders and political leaders in Davos. I also drew attention to the Philippines' work across trade and investment monetary and fiscal policy, food and energy security, climate action, structural reforms, digitalization, public-private partnerships, health. Oh, nami yung tinalaki dito sa DAO-EF. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit, bakit, ano, uh, to si Winnie Munsud, sinasabi niyang magta-travel lang yung presidente natin. Yan na, ginagawa na niya yung trabaho niya eh. Puro na lang, ano, yung puro na lang, puro negative na lang inarinig natin kay, sa kanya about the president. A working president naman itong ginagawa niya. Nutrition, education, and other social services. I highlighted this administration's policies, including the Philippine De- Development Plan, the eight-point socio-economic agenda, and various other policies and legislations that spotlight the economic reforms of the Philippines that have led to our sustained growth, even post-COVID-19 and amidst the current global economic downturn. I also discussed our budget strategies, policies, programs, and projects for climate-resilient infrastructure and our flagship Build Better More and our active policies toward public-private partnerships and other forms of collaboration in infrastructure. All this work is is toward the fulfillment of a resilient, inclusive, and sustainable infrastructure ecosystem for the Philippines. I took the opportunity as well to consult with our uh, friends uh, and and, uh, uh, partners in, uh, in Davos on the Sovereign Wealth Fund. 
as a means for us to diversify, diversify our income sources. Yeah, new sovereign wealth fund. Yeah, nakalimutan ko yung ano yung tawag doon sa investment. Kasi yung iba-ibang bansa ay merong sovereign wealth fund na may sarili sila. Nag-i-invest yung bansa nila. And now sa time, meron rin tayo ngayon. Alam po meron yung father, father ni uh, si Apo Lakay o uh, si Ferdinand Marcos. Meron tayong investment eh, mga paper, uh, paper assets dati. Alam ko pinagbebenta lang ng ng ano yung pumayat sa kay father niya kaya wala nawala yung investment na yon. Kaya ito ginagawa nila ngayon kasi ginagawa ng ibang bansa. Yan. Ang takot ko lang yon kasi yung baka uli kung ibang presidente ang makapunta diyan baka ibenta uli or wild asset. Yun lang yung mas plus. Kasi ginawa na to ng tatay niya. Kaso bin, ano. As well, guys, ha, yung mga case ng Marcoses na ano, na na absuelto na. Kasi walang nagkaroon ng proof na na nagnakaw sila ng ill-gotten wealth. To generate various welfare effects to the Filipino people, while recognizing that this is a collaborative work with experts and our lawmakers so that its final form is what we intend to be. And that discussion about the uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Maharlika Fund, was Maharlika an interactive fund. one, wherein not only did we present our ideas on what the fund should look like, but we asked them, what do you think would be most advantageous for the Philippines so as to allow uh, the, the potential investments that you are thinking about bringing to the Philippines and how the fund would be best, best designed to service that investment. I opened the panel session on moving towards nutrition security, where I discussed some of, some of the efforts and goals that we have set to achieve food and nutrition security and had provided ideas on how the global community can cooperate to expedite, expedite and ensure that our efforts remain effective. I further took part in a high-level dialogue on investing in infrastructure for resilience alongside a few other leaders of countries and international and supranational organizations to discuss our infrastructure flagship and how this can contribute to our goal of a resilient Philippines. I met with the World Economic Forum founder and chairman emeritus, Klaus Schwab, who has become a dear friend of the Philippines, and we discussed partnerships and collaborations to help the Philippines sustain equitable and inclusive growth and provide for a better quality of life for Filipinos. I met with world leaders to discuss how we can further cooperate to ensure that lasting peace and prosperity for all are on the horizon. I had the opportunity to meet and exchange views with a few leaders of countries and organizations, such as WTO Director Gozi Okonjo Iwala, World Bank Managing Director for Operations Axel von Trotzenberg, IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva, and former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair to align and agree to push for common priorities and support for the multilateral trading system to benefit all. The process that we undertook, really, uh, in, uh, in Davos was not simply to, uh, to uh, highlight the new situation, the new economic situation, the new policies, and the new concepts that we are promoting in the Philippines today, but also to learn from the world leaders and the world economic leaders what part the Philippines can play uh, in this fragmented world, that was the main theme in this entire forum, is how do we bring back cooperation in a fragmented world? And uh, we are seen to uh, play a part in that, and especially as a member state of ASEAN and as a leading uh, economy in Asia. I was joined by leaders from the Philippine business community, we took part in several activities to help promote partnerships with our private sector economic leaders. I met with key, of, key executives of companies such as DP World, Glencore, Morgan Stanley, who incidentally is going to be now, uh, because, of, because of investor confidence, is going to open an office here in the Philippines. 
the business meetings. The business meetings held promise of new investments in many of our economic sectors, including mining, processing, digital solutions, logistics, telecommunications, renewable fuel, amongst others, and will enable our companies to participate deeper in global value chains. Finally, as ever, no visit will ever be complete without meeting our countrymen in Switzerland and the surrounding areas. We were serenaded. Uh, to our great surprise, by a young man by the name of Ivan Mendoza, grand finalist of the Voice of France, who astounded everyone, ourselves included, who showcased how Filipino talent is truly world class and served as another shining example of how all Filipinos are individual ambassadors of goodwill in their own right. We will now be working to consolidate and develop these contacts and discussions that we have begun. The measure of success will be how much of this we can bring to fruition. That process has begun, and we will continue until we see the final results of these endeavors. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, at magandang hapon po. Ayan na. Uh, walang sinabing anong amount yung inuwi niyang investment. Wal, wala, wala siyang pinagyabang talaga eh. Yung talagang sinabi niya, ito yung ginawa ko, ito yung invest ko, ito yung kinausap ko, ito yung mga uh, papasok na mga, mga investment, ito yung mga inayos natin na tinatarget natin, digitalization, uh, improvement, saka yung creating a better relationship with other countries. Ayan, kasi nga, uh, syempre na, na lost na tayo ng contact two years, di ba? Because of COVID. So, maganda yung ginagawa ng ating presidente. So, ang reaction ko dito is very good yung ginagawa ngayon ni Marcos. Honestly. Okay, parang pinibenta niya yung Pilipinas for investment. Inahikayat niya yung mga yung malaking bagay yan sa atin in a long term. Siyempre, hindi na, naman natin mararamdaman nga. But, uh, meron siyang vision. Yun yung maganda dyan. May vision siya, may mga uh, eight point uh, agenda siya, plus yung may investment, yung sovereignty investment or yung maharlika fund na ni-discuss nila. Sana nga, magkaroon na lead ang gobyerno natin ng investment. Maganda. So, guys, um, hindi ko na papahabayin itong ating um, reaction. Uh, maganda yung ginagawa ng ating presidente. Kung alam ko may, syempre, kung kahit sa ating presidente, it's okay. It's part of it. Syempre, kanya-kanyang ano yan, um, belief sa isang leader. And I hope that uh, it will help our country more and support yung ating president. Kasi six months pa lang siya eh. Six months pa lang, wala pa nga one year eh. Marami na kayo, marami pa rin batikos. So, ganun talaga guys. So, ito lang yung reaction ko dun sa, sa Switzerland uh, at saka yung kanyang kanyang pagpunta sa World Economic Forum. So, guys, subscribe to my channel. Like and share naman dyan. Yeah, para magro naman to sa Maraming salamat sa inyo guys and see you to the next reaction video. Bye for now! Thank you so much for watching. See you again on my next video.